Welcome to how to perform a firmware update presented by Mavic Maniacs. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that all your devices are charged. If they are not charged, please get them on the charger right away as you want them to be full for the update experience. This is where a multi-charger comes in handy. While your devices are charging, now is a good time to go ahead and make sure you have the latest version of the DJI Assistant app. Log in to www.dji.com and then navigate to the consumer section and once there you will see their various offerings including the Mavic series. Under that you should see an entry for the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro Platinum, and the Mavic Pro. Simply click on the one for the device you have and that will load the proper page. Once there click on downloads and from that you'll be brought to the download section which includes all the documentation as well as the software. On the right hand side is the software selection for both Windows and Mac. You can either download the Windows version in a zip or exe or the Mac version in a DNG. Once you have verified that you have the latest version of the DJI Assistant app installed, go ahead and launch it and you will be brought to a window where it will show that it is waiting for a device to be connected. Let's go ahead and connect the remote control to update it first. Plug the USB cord into the left port of the remote controller and the other end of the USB port into your USB port on your computer. Once you have them both connected, go ahead and power on the remote controller and allow it to boot up and the DJI Assistant to recognize that it's been connected. Once the DJI app has detected the remote control has been connected, it will provide you with an RC icon. Go ahead and click that and you will be brought to a page which will download the latest information from the DJI servers and display what firmware versions are available. Here you can see what version is currently installed on your remote, the date it was released, and some other information. You'll also see the available updates, if any. Simply click on update next to the firmware version you want, and then click start update. The download may take a few minutes as it downloads the update file to your computer from DJI servers. Once the download is complete, it will then upload that file to the remote control. And then once that file has been uploaded, it will then start installing that firmware update. The firmware update may take a couple minutes to install. If the progress indicator hangs for any reason, don't worry, it's still working, um, but the overall time to install should just be anywhere about five minutes or so. Um, as you can see here, I cut ahead, we're at 72%, it's hanging, but it'll suddenly jump to 100 like it did here, and the update is complete. Go ahead and click the back button to confirm that your remote is now on the latest version, or at least the version you chose to upgrade to. Once you've confirmed that your remote is now on the firmware you wanted, you can go ahead and back out of this app, close it, and disconnect the remote. The steps are pretty much identical to updating the DJI Mavic drone as it was with the controller. Go ahead and launch the DJI Assistant app. Before we connect the drone, we need to make sure that any moving parts are not restricted. So go ahead and remove any prop guards, the camera gimbal, move the arms out of the way, and make sure that when we go to power it on, anything that has like a self-check and moves will not be restricted in any way. We don't want to cause any damage when we perform this update. Let's go ahead and prepare to connect the USB port. So let's go ahead and open the little cover there that protects it. Grab our USB cable and connect it to the drone. Sorry for the uh, fumbling hands here. Again, I'm holding my cell phone to take this video and trying to handle everything one-handed connecting the drone itself. Once we get that connected, let's go ahead and move the drone closer to the laptop and then we're going to go ahead and plug it into the USB port where we already have the DJI Assistant app running and waiting to detect that something's been connected. 
now I'll insert my battery and power up my drone. And once the Mavic has um, finished its boot cycle check, it will go ahead and connect to the DJI Assistant app, which will then detect it and we can move forward. Okay, we're powered up and DJI Assistant has detected the Mavic Pro. Go ahead and click on the icon there. And from this point out, it's pretty much identical to how we updated the remote earlier. It's going to download the latest information from the DJI website, show us what we're currently at, um, allow us to upgrade. Just click that upgrade button and then we're Go ahead and start the update and just like with before it will start the download and it'll take a little time so i'm going to go ahead and cut forward so it magically looks like it didn't take any time at all all right look at that we jumped to 99 percent you can see it's hanging for a moment and then it went and now it's transmitting the update file to the drone itself and then once that's complete and with a little magic here it will be in a moment Boom! All right, at 100%, it will now start the update. The update will take significantly longer than the remote did. Um, that's basically because there's a lot more to the update for the drone itself than there was for the remote controller. So this could take anywhere from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. So don't panic if it gets hung up, which it will do. It's going to say maybe 72% and just sit there for 2 minutes. Don't worry about it, it's still going. Uh, the only time you need to worry is if it's been sitting there for 20 minutes then the update's probably failed and you're going to have to start over. But I have never had that happen when using this method versus, say, updating through the app itself. And look at that. We're at 100%. That was magical, wasn't it? I've cut the wait time down so you guys don't have to sit here idle. But what really happens is, after the update, the drone is going to reboot, so it's going to look like it hung at 100%. But once it reboots and reconnects, you'll get that back button. Go ahead and click it and you can verify that you're now on the latest version or whichever version of firmware you chose at the time. So once you've done this, go ahead and back out to the main window. And if you have additional batteries, I suggest you power down the Mavic Pro so that it looks, and you can see here in the DJI Assistant that it disappeared. And then what you're gonna do is swap out the batteries, put the new one in that hasn't been updated yet, and go ahead and reboot the drone. Once it reboots, it'll be detected and then you can click on the Mavic Pro again. Now in every firmware update, there's not necessarily an update that happens for the battery as well. But in this case, I like to check it on every version anyway. So what will happen here is since I put a new battery in that wasn't in during the update, if there was a firmware update that applied to the battery, after about 30 seconds or so sitting on this screen, I would see a firmware mismatch alert, which means, hey, something in this device doesn't have the appropriate firmware. So all you do then is run the update again and repeat that for each battery. Since this one didn't have it, I'm done. I can go ahead and quit and we're done. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out on the website and leave a comment. Thank you very much and I hope you found this helpful.